continue our overall game plan, which is set the middles and be low air. And I think that's pretty much any volleyball coach's game plan. I feel like with the way that we've been passing, that will allow us to stay in a lot of volleyball matches. And so we did a good job. We passed pretty well again today. Uh, you know, we got our middles established. I think our middles had 10 kills between them. Uh, you know, just to establish them early just opens everything else up. So we did a good job just making sure that we were sticking to the fundamentals and focusing on our side of the net, and it showed the results. I think it's a credit to uh, the team. I think they are uh, coming into practice every day, and they are focused on improving different aspects of their game. And we spend 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes almost every day is solely focused on blocking. Um, call it like blocking islands. you got to go there and, you know, just spend your time there. And for, for us to be able to, to do that every day and for them to not be tired of it and come in and, 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 and compete with vigor in that drill, it, it shows up in the results. And so our, I was very happy with our blocking today, um, just to be in a little bit more discipline. And so that's going to keep showing. And hopefully that will continue uh, as we head into next week. Well, I think it, we're playing Southwestern, who you know, is number two in the country right now. Uh, they played a top five team last night. Uh, in local Trinity. Uh, that was a tight match. I think I believe Southwestern lost to four. Uh, the, the team speaks for itself. It, when you come here, we don't want to just schedule wins. We could go and play teams that are kind of on the lower end and, and pad our resume and do things like that. We don't want to do that at, at the lake. We want to go and play the best teams we can, which is why we're playing Southwestern twice this year, who made the Final Four. That's why on our original schedule, we were playing Lindsey Wilson, who's number three in the country, and Georgetown, who's top 20. We want to play those teams. And so the girls know when they sign up to come here that these are the matches that they want to play. And so I don't think motivation is an issue for that, uh, conference or non-conference. I think the opponent speaks for itself. And so I voted USW number one uh, preseason. They're currently fifth in conference. I think what's happened after the first two weekends is I think you've seen a separation between the top four and the bottom four, uh, with us, Houston Tillotson, and then Wiley and St. Thomas. And we're all travel partners. So we will all play each other kind of at the same time. And so I think any one of those four teams can finish first, and any one of those four teams can finish fourth. And so we, don't, we won't know until we play each other. And so that's the fun thing about conferences. Um, just getting in there and competing and see how it goes. Wiley has a brand new coach. Uh, they look pretty good on film. St. Thomas has, is battle tested. They've played some good teams. And I think they've rallied around after everything that's happened to them early in the year with the weather and, and the flooding down in Houston. And we've seen HT a couple times in person. They are a physical team that can do a lot of good things. And all three teams are well coached. And I, I think it's going to be fun to see what happens in the next 10 days uh, with us playing all three teams. So hopefully we can get some good results and, and keep defending. Uh, Keep defending our uh, our uh, our conference title.